Hey, Dr. Chris Moore here, and first, excuse the video, I'm taking this by myself, so my head might be cut off right now, and you know, I don't usually dress like this for work, I'm up in Indianapolis right now to present at the NFL Players Association meeting on the use of omega-3 fats and fish oil for NFL players, so, you know, I checked in this morning, got my badge, I'm about to run out the door again, actually, to present to this group of individuals, but I'm here because I wanted to talk to you about omega-3 fats as well, it's not just for professional athletes like NFL players, omega-3 fats should be the cornerstone of everybody's general health uh, practice, especially for heart health. And we're talking this month, every single day, about uh, specific foods or things you can do to improve the health of your heart. Well, omega-3 fats are at the top of the list. And where do we get omega-3 fats? Things like wild salmon, tuna, sardines we talked about the other day, anchovies. On the plant side of things, almonds, walnuts, flax seeds, those are all great sources of omega-3 fats as well. And there is a difference between the fish oil and the, and the flax oil, it's a common question, and the plant sources versus the fish oil sources, uh, but both are an important part of overall heart health. So what can you do? The American Heart Association recommends um, eating up to 12 ounces of fatty fish per week. So that's about two to three servings per week, again, the fish that I mentioned. Um, in addition, you know, should you take fish oil? That's a common question that I get. And the one recommendation is, you know, we need to get about 500 milligrams a day at least to prevent deficiency. And there isn't a qualified health claim for omega-3 fats from the FDA. Um, the American Heart Association says about a gram a day um, if folks have a history of heart disease. I recommend, I think that's a smart idea for general health practices. And then two to four grams a day if someone has high triglycerides or high lipid levels. So fish oil again from food sources and also from other omega-3 sources should be a, a recommended cornerstone of your healthy diet for cardiovascular health um, since we're talking about that but then for so many other aspects of your health as well make sure you're eating omega-3s on a regular basis consider fish oil supplement chris moore more results.com i gotta run out the door i'm presenting just a few minutes have a great day